So, how's everyone's morning? So far, not much has happened, but I'm doing pretty good. Uh, same. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Freddy. What do we get in the mail? Oh, the usual bills, taxes, and this letter for Phantom Foxy. Huh? A letter? That's odd. No one ever sends me a letter. Does it say who it's from? No, it just says that it's addressed to our pizzeria and that it says for Phantom Foxy. Well, let's open it up and find out. There you go. Thank you. Alright, let's see here. Dear Phantom Foxy, long time no see. Uh, let's see here. From Phantom Freddy and your other friends! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Phantom Freddy? Phantom Foxy, you never told us that we had friends that were phantoms like you. Uh, well... Uh, okay, look. There's more phantoms out there besides me. More? I know, I know. This is a lot to take in. And I'm sorry I didn't bring this up to you guys sooner. I just haven't heard from my phantom friends in such a long time since Phasma's fright burned down. Did something happen between you guys before that happened? No, we get along just fine. I'm just surprised that we're hearing from them just now. Like, honestly, I don't know what to do from here. Well, I think to start things off a little simple, you write them a letter back, and maybe invite them to come visit here, if that's okay with Freddy. Uh, sure, uh, they, they can come and visit us. I think that would be a great idea. That way, you and your friends can bond together and catch up on everything, and then they can meet our friends. You know what? I like that idea. I'm gonna go right back to them right now! What are you all excited about? We just found out something new about Phantom Foxy. It turns out there are more phantoms like him. And I kinda already knew about that. What? You knew? Oh my gosh. If you knew, then why didn't you tell us about them sooner? Because of privacy reasons. You know about them too, Dad? Mm-hmm. Even Puppet knows. What? This doesn't make any sense. Why would you guys keep information like this private to us? It's a long story, Freddy. After Fastbus Fright closed down, we assumed the Phantoms didn't survive afterwards. I guess that makes sense. But there is one thing I always wanted to ask. Where did Phantom Foxy come from? Is he an embodiment of something? <sighs> I think it's about time me and your father discuss Phantom Foxy's origins to you and Freddy. But you must promise to keep this information private. We promise. Right then, this goes all the way back to when the Toy Animatronics restaurant reopened. I was set to go out and investigate Fazbear's Fright by instruction of Withered Golden Freddy. There was something about that attraction that seemed off to him, so I went in there after hours to see if the people who worked at that establishment were behind something. So far, I found a few props and spare costume parts that came from the Withered Animatronics pizzeria. Everything was uneventful. That was until I found an extra room that was boarded up. I was hesitant at first to open it, but I felt as if it was my job as an investigator to do so. I pried the boards off and entered the room, and as soon as I went in there, the foul stench of rot hit me in the face. It was complete darkness. I couldn't see a thing. I remember I brought a flashlight with me, so I turned it on, and all I found was stained walls and old arcade games. That was until I found out what that smell was coming from, and a remarkable discovery. I had found the original Spring Bonnie suit, it was in a terrible state of disrepair, and its colors had faded immensely. I didn't think too much of it. That was until I got a closer look and opened its mask. Inside the, de the deteriorating bunny suit were the mummified remains of William Afton. I was in complete shock and grossed out at the same time. I couldn't believe he managed to re remain intact after all the these years. I was about to leave the room. That was until I realized I had the potential to purify his soul and give him another chance. Yeah, but that still doesn't explain how the phantoms were created. Well, while I was there, I managed to find some remains of your guy's suit, such as Chica's spare mask, and a display stand of Freddy and Bonnie's body and masks to experiment. I also found a box full of spare animatronic parts that used to belong to the toy animatronics, including with it Foxy. I took it out, and as I lined it up with the Foxy head that was hung up in one of the hallways, I gave life to the arm and mask, and it worked! 
but not in the way I thought it would. As a result, Phantom Foxy was born. Interesting. So, who are his other family members? There are Phantom versions of Wither Freddy, Chica, BB, Mangle, and myself. I was gonna make one of Bonnie, but I ran out of time before I could do so. Anyways, after my experiments were finished, I managed to, to, to bring Springtrap back to life and purify his soul. And after some conversations and negotiations, I was able to get him out of there. Except for the Phantoms. Springtrap wanted to take one of them home, but they declined and stated that Phantom's fight was their home. And as you all know, I moved in with you. Wow, that explains a lot. <laughs> the more you know, I guess. Yes, pretty much. Now anyways, this is where unfortunate events took over. Shortly after I was brought here, there was a fire that occurred at Fazbear's Fright. The fire crew were called, but by then, the building was already reduced to nothing but rubble. As for the Phantoms, we assumed that Phantom Foxy was the only one that survived because I found him on the streets all badly burned and he looked miserable. I also saw that he was missing his right lower arm, and that was when I decided to take him home with me. This was a day that mentally affected Phantom Foxy, not just from his scars, but the thought that he had lost his whole family. Even though he had a home, he still couldn't get over what happened, and thus developed PTSD. The only reason why we never brought it up to you guys was for Phantom Foxy's own good. And we, we worried that if we spoke about it, then others would start talking about it, and all of those bad memories would come flying back to him. We just didn't want Phantom Foxy's mental health to deteriorate further. No, no, I understand that, Springtrap, but at least we know that his family is still alive. Mm-hmm. I wonder what Phantom Foxy is writing down on his letter. Alrighty, I'm done. Already? That was fast. What did you say in your letter? I just wrote about what's been going on lately, and I also gave him an invitation. Oh, okay. That's cool. Did you think that we'll hear back from them? I'm sure they will, baby. But anyways... I guess I'll break the news to everyone that we're having company. Wait, you okay with that? Indeed. Now that I know that they're still alive, I don't have to worry anymore. <laughs> I haven't seen him this happy before, Puppet. Yep, I think this reunion is going to work out just fine. When are they supposed to get here? It's almost been a week. I never said that they were coming over, Chica. I said I sent them an invitation if they want to come over. Chances are that they got the letter and read it, but they just aren't confident enough to visit yet. You know, Phantom Foxy, how come you never told us you had a Phantom family before? It, it would take too long to explain. And besides, I think it's for the best that you don't know. Um, okay. So what do you plan on doing together when they arrive? Hold on, I'll get it! Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Ugh! Darn kids! Ah! What? what the heck?! <laughs> I got you! <laughs> BB! What, Freddy? It's just a prank! That is not how we approach someone's house! Now say sorry to the chicken! We're supposed to make a good impression! <sighs> I'm sorry for playing Ding Dong Ditch on you and scaring you, miss. Uh... Do you know Phantom Foxy? Why, yes! That's why me and my friend are, are here in the first place. Well, he's actually inside. How about you come on in? Cool. Alright, let's go, BB. Um, hey, Phantom Foxy! Is this the family you're looking for? <gasps> Freddy? BB? Is that you? Yup, it's indeed us. Ah, uh, you guys have no idea how much I miss you. Wait, where's the others? Well, here I am! Oh my gosh! A phantom version of me? Whoa! A normal version of myself? Whoa, whoa. And don't forget about me! Oh. Uh. Well, okay. Ow! What? Why is there no phantom me? You guys, I just have so many questions. Like, how did you survive the fire? Where have you guys been this whole time? A and... What happened to your leg, Freddy? We managed to escape the fire through the second exit at Fazbear's Fright. Though I did lose my lower leg in the process, we mostly spent the past decade living in an alleyway since. Jeez, how have you guys been able to survive in that kind of condition? It might sound miserable, but it's actually not so bad. 
It's right next to an abandoned building where we all sleep. As for food, well, we just eat what gets thrown in the trash cans nearby. Oh dear, what do you guys eat? It could be anything. Expired food, old tin cans, pretty much anything that we could find. That's actually really sad. Yeah, but we're used to it. Anyways, Foxy, who are these individuals? Well, these are my friends. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Welcome, fellow phantoms. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. It's nice to meet you, too. I hope we didn't come at an erupt moment. Well, your friend Phantom BB certainly did. We apologize for that. BB can forget his manners at times and likes to be difficult. Hey, that's not true. Guys, be nice to each other. Sorry. Well, anyways, would you like a tour of the place? Sure, we would like that. Can we also have something to eat while we're here? I'm starting to get hungry. Oh, sure, I can whip up pizza for you guys. Follow me, Phantom Me. Okay, uh, me? Well, I guess I'll be your guide, Phantom Freddy. Okie dokie. And I guess me and Fox will help out the other two get comfortable with the others. Sounds like a plan to me. Come on, you two. Let's set sail for a tour. So now you're coming down one of the hallways of the pizzeria. This is where we're at least to one of the party rooms and down to the office right here. It's not too fancy or too big, but it's pretty comfortable. What about the other door? What does that lead to? Oh, that's the secondary office. It's usually where Springtrap, Golden Freddy, and Phantom Foxy sleep. Could we go in there? Sure, let me just make sure they're not doing anything. Yes? It's Freddy, and I have a guest. Mind if I come in? No, you can come in. We're not doing anything. Sure. Hey, you Springtrap! Oh, Phantom Freddy! Hey! Long time no see! Yeah, <laughs> so what are you doing? Nothing really, just polishing up my trusty axe. Oh, okay. Hey, Golden Freddy, it's nice to finally meet you. Welcome, Phantom Freddy. I can assume you got Phantom Foxy's letter? Mm-hmm. And right now, me and my friends are getting a tour of the place by some of your friends. Okay. Well, enjoy your stay. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Alrighty, will do. And this is the arcade room. This is where we store the arcade cabinets and the merry-go-round. Oh, cool. Which games do you have? It kind of varies. We have the Desolate Hope, Music Legend, Pizza Party, and a few others. And this be the prize corner, where kids can get prizes with the tickets that they earn from the games, and here is where Puppet resides. He sleeps in this tiny box? How on earth can he live in that kind of condition? This is just how he lives, and he has no problem with it. Living in a giant box is something that he was built for. Speaking of which, I wonder if he's in here. Ah! Shiver me timbers! <sighs> Foxy, tell your girlfriend that the gift box isn't big enough for the both of us! Uh, Mango isn't here right now, so how could it be her? Hello? Um, whoever is in there, you, you need to come out to say sorry for scaring my friend. Whoa! <laughs> well, what do you know? It's a phantom version of me own lass. Welcome aboard to the reunion, lad. <coughs> ah, oh, ah, what in the world is that noise? That's just how Mango communicates with us. She doesn't have a functioning voice box. Mango! You've introduced yourself enough. Now it's time to move on. And this is the kitchen. What do you think, Phantom Me? Uh, I guess it's cool and all, but what's so special about it? It's just a kitchen. What's so special about it? This is where all the magic happens. All pizzas are served fresh out of the oven and cooked in this very kitchen. Well... <laughs> ooh, what's that smell? Uh... Ooh! Is that fresh pizza? Yeah, um, I just made it. Can I have some? Well... Yeah, 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 sure. I could use a hand with this. Thanks! Oh my gosh. What? This is the best thing I've ever had! Oh god, I love this place already! Well, let's dig in! And these are the other party rooms. These party rooms are usually where the mediocre melodies hang out. Though they aren't here right now. Oh, wow, so many balloons. Hey, uh, Phantom BB? Yeah, what's up? If there was a Phantom version of me, what would he look like? Me or Withered Me? Well, I don't know what Withered You looks like, so I don't know how to answer that question. 
Yeah, I guess you're right on that. Hey, Bonnie. I heard Peter Foxy's family arrived. Oh, hello. My name is... <gasps> ah! Clown! Get away from me! Hey, 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 what's the problem? I'm terrified of clowns! Get that thing away from me! Um, that thing is my girlfriend, and she has a name, which is Circus Baby. Oh! Ah! Oh, well, is she really a clown? No, kid. I may look like a clown, but I'm not. In fact, I'm quite the opposite. I can dance, sing, take song requests. I can also flay balloons right on my fingertips thanks to a built-in helium tech inside of me. Sounds lame. Well, did you also know that I can dispense ice cream? What? No way! Yes way, just watch! Whoa, that was quick. But it doesn't taste good. Wow. This is the best ice cream I've ever had in a long time. Circus Baby, I'm sorry I called you a clown. It's okay. I'm glad you like the ice cream. Thanks. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go adventure out in the pizzeria on my own. Thanks for the tour, Bonnie. You're welcome. <laughs> Kids. I gotta say, Phantom Foxy, you have quite a nice family. Thanks. I was worried that some of you guys wouldn't like them as much as they do tend to get a little mischievous with the others. So far, the only ones who I feel like could use some manners are Phantom BB and Phantom Mangle, but even then, they're not bad. Yeah, Phantom Me was cool to hang out with. We shared a pizza together, and she said it was the best thing she ever tasted. That's nice. Although, I still don't understand why there's no Phantom Virgil of myself. Um, there's a reason behind that, Bonnie, but I can't say it because of privacy reasons. Oh, alright. So, Phantom Foxy, what do the Phantoms plan on doing for the rest of their visit? Actually, they said that they're gonna be out on their way soon. Back to their alleyway. What? Just like that? And live it back to the way homeless people do? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like, come on, we gotta do something to help them. Why don't they just live with us? No, we don't have enough room, Chica. We have enough animatronics living here as it is. I'm afraid Bonnie's right, Chica. It would also be costly since we have more mouths to feed. The pandemic has affected our income quite a bit. If we spend too much money, then we'll have no choice but to file for bankruptcy. But what if they catch the virus? Oh, we can't get sick, Chica. We're ghosts. Oh, but still, what are we supposed to do? Uh, I don't know, Chica, but I'm sure we'll think of something. Alright, while well, you guys are doing that, I'm gonna go check on my phantoms now. Hey, Freddy, how you enjoying your stay? So far, you have a very nice family, Foxy, and I can see why kids will come to this place. Well, you're not wrong. A lot of kids actually used to come here. You know, before the pandemic, that is. Oh yeah, I've heard a lot about that virus, like how it was spreading, or how it killed thousands of people, and the fact it took a toll on a lot of other companies. True. Though I also want to ask you this. How did you know that I lived here? Actually, I didn't. I found a newspaper regarding the current state of your restaurant, and I, and I did know that you survived the fire because I remember you escaping, so I was quick to assume that you lived here, and I wrote a letter from there. <laughs> You're lucky I lived here. Otherwise, if other people ran this place, they would think it was written by a lunatic or something. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well... Oh my, it's getting pretty late. I think it's time for me and the others to head out. Uh, alright. Are you sure you guys don't want to hang out any longer? No thanks, and it is starting to get past our bedtime. Especially BBs. Uh, okay. I hope you guys got to the other side. Ah, sweet mother of Davy Jones! I get it, your phantom mangle. Can you speak through your voice box? Er, uh, mangle, she can't help it. Her voice box is very broken. Just try to stay calm. You're right. I'm sorry, phantom me. I've been a bit cranky today. Oi, mangle, it's time to go. Well, it's getting past our bedtime, and I'm sure Fred and his friends want to go to sleep. That's a good fox. Now let's go get Chica a puppet. Watch your timing! Hit the symbols! Yes! Yes! No! No! Come on, puppet! This isn't so hard! How am I supposed to know this right off the bat? I bet you couldn't do better. Actually, for your information, I've lived in an arcade machine before. What does that have to do with playing the game? 
Ah! Oh, don't take me away! What did I do wrong? No! Mangle! Ah, you gotta stop doing that! You nearly gave Puppet a circuit attack! What do you want? It's time to go? Oh, it is getting pretty late. We'll be right out. Alright. All that's left is BB. Has anyone seen him? Um, uh, me and Chica were playing arcade games, and the last time we saw him was when he was exiting that room. Hmm, let me try calling him. BB! BB, it's time to leave! Ah, uh, no, help! Help! Huh? Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. What in Fazbear's name? BB, what are you doing? I wanted to take this blue home that baby made for me, but she inflated it too big and now I'm stuck to the ceiling! I'm really sorry, guys. I told him that this wasn't a good idea. No, no, no. It's okay, baby. We'll get him down. Alright, baby, listen to me. Let go of the balloon. Are you crazy? I'll fall down and break my bottom! No, you won't, because I'll catch you! No, I can't. I can't let go. Trust me on this. I promise when you land, you'll be unharmed. Okay! Whoa! 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 Ah! Ow! Ah! Oh my back! Are you okay, BB? Ugh, I've been through worse. I did say it was a bad idea, Phantom BB. I know, I know. I should have listened, and I'm sorry. Well, anyways, it's time to go, BB. It's getting past your bedtime. Uh, okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Circus Baby. Same with you. It was a pleasure meeting all of you. Oh, hey, Fanta Freddy, wait up! Huh? Me and Chica have something for you guys on your way out. Oh, what is it? These three boxes of pizza! <gasps> oh my gosh! Guys, this is really generous of you. Thank you so much. No problem, Phantom Freddy. Yes! Finally, something to eat other than rotten expired food! You guys are the best! You're very welcome, Phantom Chica. You guys are always welcome to come back here. Just let us know. Okay, then that's settled. Well, we must be off. Goodbye, guys. Bye, Phantom Foxy. Wait, guys! What? There's something I wanted to say to you all. What is it, Phantom Foxy? Before I received the letter, I thought you guys didn't survive the fire. Since the incident, I felt very lonely in my life, knowing that the only family that I knew at the time had been reduced to nothing but ashes. And my mental and physical scars have never healed since. The reason I keep this information private to most of the members here was because I just wanted to let go of my past, and I just wanted to try and overcome it. So that's why we didn't hear about your family until now. It all makes sense. Speaking of the fire, what caused it? It was a long time ago. We can only assume that it was faulty wiring that caused it. I'm sorry that I didn't mention this to you guys sooner. No, no, no. You don't have to apologize. We completely understand your position. We all have been there. I know I did. Like, remember when Bonnie got involved in a fatal shot attack? Although he was revived, seeing him lying on his deathbed and dying in my hands is what haunts me the most from that day. Seeing the thing I love and cherish the most dying in front of me was truly traumatizing. Overcoming a traumatic experience doesn't happen overnight. It could take months or longer to recover from it. We tend not to talk about it with our family members because it is an experience that we don't want to think about. Your friend is completely right. We all have bad experiences in our lives, and sometimes they just don't go away, but we can't overcome them and accept that they happened. We may have lost our home that night, but that didn't mean we lost hope. We kept our chins up and we were able to find another home and get past that terrible night. And look where we're at now, in front of our long lost member of our family with a bunch of new friends. Well, I guess that's true. I mean, I did manage to pull through all those tough times. Well, that day will probably be one I'll never forget. I can overcome it and stay strong. Exactly. Well, we must be off, my friend. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. I'll see you guys again someday. Same to you! You feeling okay? No, 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 I'm good. In fact, I feel a lot better now that I opened up and found out that my family is alive. Well, that's great to hear. And remember, if you're feeling a bit mentally ill, you can always vent to us about it, and we will be willing to help you out no matter what. 
Thanks a lot, guys. I knew I could count on you. Well, families do have to stick together, right, Bonnie? Yup, indeed. 